Are you ready to dive into the underground world of cyber espionage? Well, hold on to your keyboards because today we're talking about one of the most notorious cyber attacks of all time, Stuxnet. This computer worm was not your average malware, oh no. It was a precision weapon, designed to infiltrate and destroy Iran's nuclear program. And it was so sneaky, it took years for anyone to even realize it was there. But the real question is, who was behind this cyber heist? Buckle up, and let's find out. Codebreakers and Centrifuges, Inside the Stuxnet Attack The Stuxnet attack occurred in 2010, when a computer worm began infecting systems in Iran, specifically targeting the country's nuclear program. The worm was able to spread through a combination of technical vulnerabilities and human error, it first spread through USB drives, and then it propagated to other systems through a previously unknown vulnerability in the Windows operating system. It was like a computerized version of Mission Impossible, with the worm sneaking past security undetected, taking over the systems and causing chaos. Once the worm had infiltrated a system, it would begin to search for a specific type of industrial control system, known as a Programmable Logic Controller PLC. These systems are used to control and monitor industrial processes, and in the case of the nuclear program, they were used to control the centrifuges used to enrich uranium. Once the worm had identified a PLC, it would begin to manipulate the system, causing the centrifuges to spin at high speeds and ultimately self-destruct. The worm was able to do this by taking advantage of a previously unknown vulnerability in the Siemens software that was used to control the centrifuges. The attack was highly sophisticated, and it was able to evade detection for a significant period of time. It caused significant delays and set back Iran's nuclear development by years. The attack was not only targeted and precise, but it also showed a deep understanding of the targeted systems and the industrial control systems that were being used. The Stuxnet attack marked a new era in cyber warfare, it was the first known instance of a cyber attack being used to physically destroy another country's infrastructure. It raised concerns about the potential for cyber attacks to cause physical damage and disruption to critical infrastructure and it sparked a new level of awareness about cybersecurity. But the question remains, who was behind this cyber attack? Who did it? Uncovering the masterminds behind Stuxnet When it comes to Stuxnet, one of the most intriguing aspects is the question of attribution. Who was behind this cyber attack? The answer was not immediately clear, but as the investigation progressed, it became apparent that the worm had been crafted with a high level of sophistication and precision, which led many experts to suspect the involvement of a state actor. It wasn't long before fingers began pointing towards the United States and Israel. The complexity of the code and the specific targeting of Iran's nuclear program led many to believe that the attack had been a joint operation between the two countries. Eventually, it was confirmed that the US and Israel were indeed the masterminds behind the attack. The revelation caused quite a stir in the international community, with many condemning the attack as a violation of sovereignty. It was seen as an aggressive and unprecedented move, as it marked the first known instance of a cyber attack being used to physically destroy another country's infrastructure. The attribution of Stuxnet also had other implications. It revealed the capabilities of the US and Israel in cyber warfare and served as a warning to other countries about the potential dangers of cyber attacks. It also raised questions about the rules and norms surrounding cyber warfare and the need for international agreements to govern such actions. Navigating the future of cyber warfare The Stuxnet attack was a turning point in the history of cyber warfare. It marked the beginning of a new era, where countries are now using code as a weapon to disrupt and destroy their enemy's infrastructure. This development has significant implications for the future of warfare and international relations. One of the biggest concerns is the potential for cyber attacks to cause physical damage and disruption to critical infrastructure. This includes power grids, transportation systems, and financial networks. The ability to disrupt these systems has the potential to cause widespread chaos and even loss of life. The use of cyber attacks also raises questions about the rules of engagement and the use of force. In traditional warfare, there are clear rules and norms that govern the use of weapons, but in cyber warfare, these rules are not yet well established. This lack of clarity has the potential to lead to confusion and escalation in the event of a cyber attack. Another concern is the potential for non-state actors, such as criminal organizations and rogue hackers, to carry out cyber attacks. 
These actors may not be constrained by the same rules and norms as states and could cause significant damage and disruption. To address these concerns, there is a growing need for international agreements and norms to govern cyber warfare. This includes efforts to establish rules of engagement, to create mechanisms for attributing cyber attacks, and to develop international cooperation to combat cyber threats. In the future, we can expect to see an increased focus on cybersecurity and the development of new technologies to defend against cyber attacks. It's important that we stay vigilant and proactive in the face of these new challenges, in order to ensure a safe and secure digital world for all. Conclusion, Lessons Learned In conclusion, Stuxnet was a highly sophisticated and targeted cyber attack that targeted Iran's nuclear program and caused significant delays and setbacks. It was a joint operation between the US and Israel, and it marked a new era in cyber warfare, where countries are using code as a weapon to disrupt and destroy their enemies' infrastructure. The attack raised important questions about the rules and norms of cyber warfare and the need for international agreements to govern such actions. It also highlighted the potential for cyber attacks to cause physical damage and disruption to critical infrastructure and the need for strong cybersecurity measures. The legacy of Stuxnet is not just about destruction and delays, it's also about innovation and adaptation. It showed the world that cyber attacks can be targeted and precise, and it sparked a new level of awareness about cybersecurity. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this.